hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today i'm gonna show you about the half bridge converter design in alta spice okay so our input is 230 volt rms and we want to design 5 volt 33 amps output using half bridge converter so let us understand first the circuit flow and later i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the different waveforms at different locations right so let us first understand this circuit so you you see this is the this is the 230 volt rms and if i right click on here you see the peak value is 324 volt okay and since we want to design single phase power supply so i have used here the bridge rectifier in order to convert the 230 volt ac to the pulsating dc and this c1 and c2 are the two capacitor used for half bridge converter and this m1 is a high side mosfet and the source of this m1 is connected to the transformer and other end of this transformer goes to the c2 and you see here this m2 is low side mosfet right and and this l4 is the primary winding of the transformer and l7 and l8 are the secondary winding of the transformer and if you see here the inductance value i have used for primary winding is 50 milli henry and in the secondary winding is 550 micro henry for l7 and 550 micro handy for l8 as well and this is the secondary diode again d6 and d8 is also a secondary diode both are tied at this point and at from this point i have connected to the ground and this is again low pass filter secondary low pass filter and i have connected one load r1 right so if you talk about the gate driving this is very critical since m1 is high side mosfet and m2 is low side mosfet so gate driver for high side mosfet is bit critical to design either you can use direct ic which supports both high side mosfet driving and the low side mosfet driving but for this simulation purpose i have used a voltage source two voltage source here to drive l5 drives l5 is high side driver and l6 here is low side driver so if you look at here i have connected one net vg1 to vp1 that means this high side driver has to give the pulse between vg1 to vp1 but while the low side drive driver i have named as vg2 and that is connected between vg2 and the ground okay if you look at the parameter what i have assigned for this circuit is dot param and if you see this duty is maximum i took is 0.48 and then frequency is uh, 50 kilohertz and dot param dead is zero at the moment and if you look at the pulse here, I have defined the pulse for L6 and I have also defined the pulse for L5. If I click on L6, you see here the V on, that means driving voltage is uh, 10 volt, rise 10 nanosecond, fall 10 nanosecond. And here T on I defined by duty divided by F. For period, I also define 1 divided by F. Okay, so that is how this is for the low side driver and if you look at the high side driver if you see i have given some delay here so delay equals to one divided by two into frequency rise time fall time t on is duty divided by f and the period is one divided by f okay so so this is basically all about the gate driver gate driving scheme and how will you design bridge rectifier how will you connect the the capacitor how will you connect the mosfet with tran transformer mosfet m1 and m2 and how will you define the secondary side two winding secondary side if you center tape binding how you connect again the secondary rectifier and, 
and then again low pass filter to the load now what i'm gonna do is i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the different waveform okay so in order to run the simulation go ahead simulate edit simulation command and if you see here the transient time is to 200 millisecond so let me click ok and let me show you the different waveform here so i have already run i have already ran the simulation if you look at this before coming to the so let me show you first this source voltage here how it looks like okay so let me go at this point and right this simulation is a bit slow so it will take some time it is happening guys so so i run the simulation let us see what happens and how how much time it takes you see uh, there is some problem here uh let me check yes i see the simulation waveform let me check okay so let me delete this point first so that it would be easy for you to understand this point i want you to delete okay now you see this is your input signal and which is sinusoidal 50 hertz and uh, if you see the peak value is 324 324 kilo 324 volt okay since the rms is 230 volt so here you will get the peak of 3 324 volt now let me show you the the voltage as this point how it looks like so basically the dc voltage and you see you have the dc voltage here and if you click here you see some 322 and if you see click here you see here 292 that means you have you have some ripple of 30 30 volt so this is the vdc and let me show you the voltage across c2 so how it looks like okay so this is the total voltage which is and this is the voltage across one capacitor that is lower capacitor that is you see c2 and if i see here this is 162 one around 162 volt right so uh, I've shown you the voltage across C1, the, the total DC voltage and the voltage across C2. Let me show you the gate driving signal, how it looks like. I'm gonna delete these things and let me show you the gate driving signal. So first I'll show you the gate driving for high side MOSFET and then I'll show you the gate driving for low side MOSFET. So if you see here, it is taking time it is taking time to load the waveform yes so this is your high side mosfet and let me show you the low side mosfet again it is taking time to load the waveform if you use higher inductance value in lt spice it takes time to simulate okay so you see here this is running very slow and let me zoom this point and let me show you the two gate signal right so if you see here you have the two gate signal okay and in between you have some dead time okay that means you both mosfet m1 and m2 are not turning on at the same time okay so this is all about the gate signal let me show you first the this point here parallelly so this is your drain to source voltage of upper mosfet okay let me show let me delete this okay let me show you the drain to source voltage let me zoom with this how it looks like how you draw drain to source voltage looks like that right so it takes some time simulation is running but is quite slow so let me show you the voltage at this point now how I cannot see the voltage at that point okay mm, this is the the gate to source voltage and I clicked on and I see this kind of a form there now let me show, show you the voltage at this point okay how it looks like uh, why it is happening here okay now I'm gonna delete this waveform okay we don't need I wanna delete this also so if you check 
the voltage at VP1 so this net name is VP1 so if you look at the voltage at VP1 let me zoom for you so this is the voltage at VP1 that is how it looks like guys if you look at two pulse it has some time on then you see this time then goes on and like that if you go and look at the waveform of of your half bridge converter it looks like this only and if you check the current primary current let me show you how it looks like okay i clicked on here and let us go at the waveform window it is taking some time guys if you see here this is again loading loading uh, it is not allowing me to go at that second window so not sure how much time it will take it, it has to take at least uh, it is still taking once the simulation done for 100 percent i will leave it on let me go here and let me delay delete this okay so this is basically the current how it looks like right delete this trace okay so this is the voltage across the transformer and this is the current across the transformer that is how it looks like okay so now let me show you again the voltage across the transformer between this point to this point let me show let me show you let me delete this and this is that is how it looks like and this is the current let me show you the the secondary voltage how it looks like i go click on here i click on here and you see your secondary and the primary voltage voltage across the transformer it looks like the same but if you see here the amplitude at the secondary side is very less i see around 15 volt and this is the primary uh, primary side voltage okay voltage across this primary winding of the transformer and this is the voltage across the secondary winding of the transformer and uh, if you look at the other winding let's say i want to show you the voltage at the winding of the transformer at secondary here so let us say it is again taking some time because the simulation is slow it's not allowing me to go on that window and look at the waveform let us sing esp to a bot no i don't want to do that let us keep running the simulation okay so it will take some time but at the end you have a result and uh, it is taking time time running fast now it will go 100 percent then i see so you see here the the voltage across both winding of the transformer secondary is more or less overlapping each other and now let me delete this voltage and let me show you here something let me show you the inductor current okay so how it looks like again it started running the simulation so it takes some time again because we have used a higher value of inductance so it is taking time and once is it runs for 100 percent loading if you see here it is loading and i see 23 percent once it completes to the 100 percent uh, we can go there and we can look at the waveform so now what i wanted to show you the the output inductor waveform okay so this is inductor l9 and let us see how it looks like so basically this is your inductor waveform if you look at here it has some ripple here apart from the dc components so if you see it's a 32.2 here and lower side if you see 32.1 and finally what i'm gonna do is i uh, i'm gonna delete both traces and i'm gonna show you the the output voltage and output current let me show you it will take some time this is output voltage and it's running not allowing to go okay and not allowing because it takes some time 
so now I'm gonna show you the output voltage how much we are getting with this converter and then I'll show you the output current it is again running 23% let us wait for some time I cannot do anything at the moment because it's at the Intel it is spice is running slow sorry guys so it is running and it runs 400% and if you look at this waveform this is something like this I'll show you later how and let me show you the current and it again it will take some time to if I once I click you see your circle is cursor is rounding okay so it takes some time again runs for 20% let's wait to complete the 100% and then we'll see the the both window for current and the voltage it is going to complete now 100% it's completed and you see so I'll I keep zoom fit so that you can see okay so you can see you have the current around if you look at this peak point it is 33.18 the over side if you see it's 30 30.37 so it has very higher ripple at output as well 3 amps and if you look at the voltage the peak is 5 volt and lower side i see is 4.55